Hello everybody, I am Daisho, and I am here to talk about some Deadliest Warrior. For those of you watching my video for the first time, I just want to welcome you to my channel and say that while you may see some other game in the background, it really has nothing to do with what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about Deadliest Warrior and the patheticness that comes out from it. So, basically, this episode of Deadliest Warrior was one of the worst ones, in my opinion. Um, what they said for almost every gun was either something stupid or they did the tests wrong. So now I will pretty much go through them point by point. So, first of all, the short range. The Somali Pi- oh, I'm sorry, I, I apologize. I forgot to mention, this week I am reviewing the Somali Pirates versus the Medel Medellin Cartel. So, the Somali Pirate um short range weapon have the gra grappling hook and the Medellin cartel um has the machete so first of all the tests are just to satisfy the audience you both know if you if you hit somebody with a sharp edge or you swing a sword or a knife at them they're going to die i mean that's just given it the test really did not help me understand either of the weapons anymore. That being said, the machete has a slightly longer range and it is a two-sided weapon. So, I do believe that they gave the edge to the Medellin Cartel and that was intelligent. The thing that I had a problem with was how um, was something that um, the computer guy, Max Geiger, said. He basically said no, I mean he definitely he exactly said bringing the gr using the grappling hook is like bringing a knife to a gunfight, and literally in the same sentence he was praising how the machete is useful. But anybody who can who has eyes or ears or anything can tell that the machete is a knife, and this is a gunfight. So. I I don't I don't even know what to say about that. I really I just I can't comprehend what he was thinking when when he mentioned that. So that was in my opinion the first stupid comment. Then the next bad thing that happened was the AK47 versus the Mini Uzi. The AK47 was a test done by um the Somali pirates were on a raft and they had to shoot targets through shrubbery. But the Mini Uzi test was just some a couple of people driving a motorcycle and then shooting through a car window from like 10 feet, 5 feet away. So the AK-47, you were able to see the accuracy of the person shooting the weapon and how how easy the weapon was used. But the Mini Uzi was just you shoot somebody from five feet away. If you take any gun in the history of the world and shoot somebody from five feet away, they're gonna die. Um, I I don't I don't know what they were thinking with that test, but um, I don't know. I really I really just don't know how how they could have done that. I mean, the AK-47 probably has a longer range because it's an assault rifle and the Mini Uzi is just a submachine gun but the Mini Uzi is useful because A you can just you can hold it while holding another gun the AK you can't you can't really carry any other weapons I mean you can you can have something on your back but the Mini Uzi you can just like carry them in your pocket or whatever because they're that small and they're easily concealable so I mean that's that's why that would be useful Overall, it didn't really matter much in the simulation, although the final score was 522 to 478, but the AK-74 got 204 kills and the Mini Uzi got 188, so I guess it did make a big deal, but, um, I mean, it was kind of, it was kind of even. Um, such a, such a close battle, you can't really, uh, 522 to 478, you can't really say anything. Then comes the long range weapons, which were the light machine guns. And this one I actually was angry at because, uh, for the, about the test. So finally they decided to do the same test for two weapons. But in their analysis of the test and putting it into the computer, giving it the edge, they really, really messed up. 
um, they gave the edge to the PKM machine gun on the sole basis that it jammed once when the M60 jammed twice. If the M60 jammed twice and the PKM didn't jam at all, then that might be significant. But if you're shooting 100 bullets and one of them jams twice and one of them jams once, anybody in the history of the universe who has studied the uh, math of statistics will tell you definitively that there is no way that that number is statistically significant. Basically, um, it could, there's, it's chance that that happened. It's completely chance that the PKM jammed once and the M60 jammed twice. There's no reasoning why they thought that if you shot every, every one, there's no reason why every 100 bullets, the PKM would only jam once and the M60 would jam twice. Because they both, now they both have a history of jamming and one of them just happened to jam another time. So, if they shot 100 clips, and uh, overall the M60 was jamming twice as often as the PKM, then, yeah, I would say, alright, that's legit, PKM's better. But, this was really the deciding factor of the, of the uh, battle, and they really, really screwed up on this one. And... I'm not, like, rooting for either one of these. Like, when you have such bad people, like the Somali Pirates and the Medellin Cartel, I mean, Somali Pirates, they don't really, ha I mean, they're fighting for their lives, but they're still stealing, and I, I don't know, it's it's hard to, you can't really, I can't be the judge of that. Um, I don't I don't think anybody can, but I wasn't rooting for either team to win this, this round. Like, Ninja versus Spartan. Like, those two warriors are ancient warriors, who cares? But Somali Par Pirates versus Medellin Cartel, th this is like recent stuff, and I don't know. It's a little weird rooting for one team or the other. Um, the next weapon was the RPG-7 versus the Car Bomb. So, obviously, they just gave the edge to the Medellin Cartel with the Car Bomb because, um... They couldn't. They didn't. They wanted to make it two to two, like they always do. So, um, but the RPG-7 is clearly more significant in a four, uh, four versus four battle because um, the car bomb is. It, it just. I mean, it blows a lot up in in a in a large radius, but it's an it's an immobile bomb. You you once you put it in there, you're not gonna like drive unless you have a suicide bomber who's willing to drive the car and blow up the, the car um, while he's in it. Then it's it, you can't move it. But the RPG on the other hand is very mobile and it can blow people up at a distance. And it's just a really useful <laughs> weapon if you want if you're fighting four versus four, which is what the simulator. Um, tested. So, uh, overall, they made a lot of mistakes, and in my, uh, in my opinion, the real, the, most of their mistakes weren't, were just unintelligent things that didn't affect the simulation, but the real thing that affected the simulation was the PKM versus the M60, and that could have tilted the results in the cartel's way. But, obviously, it doesn't matter, it's just, it's just a <laughs> TV show, nobody actually cares who wins, but, it's just, I feel it's interesting to talk about. If you also enjoy my commentary or you think that it's, it's an interesting concept to talk about why um, this show is ridiculous, please leave me a positive comment or like my video. I would really appreciate your feedback and um, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's really about it for me this time. There's about 10 minutes left of this video, so guys if you only came to listen to some deadliest warrior i really appreciate you watching this video and i i mean all i can say is that i hope you had fun listening to me and i will talk to you guys next week the last thing that i'd like to say is that i'm really excited for next week's battle which is the persian immortal versus the kelp they both have seemingly an interesting weapon selection layout and it should be an interesting battle and um, I'm I really as I say in most of the videos I don't like the gun f gunpowder battles post gunpowder battles because I think it's too hard to tell which weapons are actually better than the others but 
the pre-gunpowder are usually pretty interesting. So, I'm um, looking forward to next week's Deadliest War here, and I hope you guys are too. And that's it for me, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!